So long, Caden. So long, Commander. Good luck. You too, for what it's worth. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Ah. Oh, that was not the meeting that I would hoped it would be. Um, squad points gained two. Mission summary. Collectors escaped with approximately one-third of Horizon's population. Uh, Front Corporation will funnel supplies, monetary aid, and colonial survivors. Collector leader, Harbinger, demonstrates a personal interest in Shepard, unclear whether his ability to possess his minions is cybernetic override, indication of hive mind among collectors, or even Reaper technology at work. Salvage teams captured collector bodies for su study. Uh, precise lethal, this focused radiation weapon is very efficient against shields, barriers, and, ar uh, it says and armor. Hmm. Okay, well, all right. Uh, the weapon you've retrieved appears to be a beam weapon of collector origin, but efforts to understand the technology and replicate it have failed. With enough research, Normandy's engineers may be able to produce the beam weapons, perhaps on a larger scale. Ooh, like ship-sized beam weapons? That'd be good. Uh, use a research computer. We've got bioamp upgrade, heavy skin weave. Use the blah, 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 cybernetic upgrade. Strong synthetic fibers can be woven through the skin, dramatically reducing damage taken uh, from most of the techs. These fibers also act as medigel conduit, improving healing. Hmm. But is there. Hmm. I mean, for Shepard, I guess it's a moot point now because he. Well, actually, that being said, he was stitched back together, but as much as possible kept alive, uh, kept intact so that he would be as Shepard as Shepard could be. So he may not actually have many cybernetic augmentations possible, though. I think, uh, you know, they, they couldn't get by without some. But... Uh, a, bit cute, a bit weary of doing any cybernetic augmentation when the whole collector thing is going on. And thank you very much for the resubscription, Isledor. It's been a year already. Wow! Uh, we've got quite a few credits and some platinum as well. And closed report. I will get a Discord link in just a moment, people in chat. You will be able to join Dabadal shortly, just as soon as we get back to the ship. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. I didn't save everyone, though. It was good work, but not good enough. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony. True. And more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. Okay, The Collectors enough. will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Hmm. Hmm. Don't like that. Another... Hmm. Another way? Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive. And with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony? Just to lure the Collectors there? Hmm. A calculated risk. I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told Can't you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides... They would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. I can't deny the logic with that. Whilst you can't control the Reapers if you can predict when they will occur, they aren't entirely beyond a measure of control. Um, we need a plan. What's our next step? We have to keep the pressure on the Collectors. They'll be more cautious with their ground operations. So we need another opening. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. Ooh. We have to hit them where they live. Okay. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? I mean... If you, I, I mean, 
yes, it is dealt with. I mean, as much as as much as I'm not happy with the way that things with Caden went down, I mean, that's the way they went down. There's no point worrying over I'm something free, I can't change. Clear and focused on the mission. That's what I like to hear, Shepard. Once you find a way through the Omega Four relay to the Collector home, it's a little bit more decisive than I meant. There's no but... guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. My team is strong. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. Hello, Lee Finn. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. All right. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. Mm. That's not good news. That's not good news at all. I guess we're really going to do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. That's the hope. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. What do you mean? Something on your mind? No, just... There's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little Small unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some... Closure, you know? Mm. Yeah. Okay, I imagine then that there's going to be a couple of loyalty missions available in that case. I mean, it makes sense. They, they've reached this point where it's like, yeah, we, we're probably not going to be coming back from this one. So, better square away everything that I have that's unfinished. Makes sense. And I'm back. I have myself a bottle of water. I'm going to get a mini fridge, I think. It's necessary. Mm. Ah, so good so good alright then let us continue Sh sore shoulders apparently uh, okay I have some really important things that I need to go do first first and foremost because they rely on me damn it I'm gonna go feed my fish also oh, damn it Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, for being so quick to load. Scallywag. Ah, there we are. Feeding the fish. Enjoy my lovelies, and I'm also going to feed myself. Sheila, I've not only got me pancakes earlier, she got me some fudge. She must have really felt that I was super stressed. Oh, I mean, I guess I am super stressed out, but... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when people are this nice to me, it's like... Mm, I'm caught between wanting to feel suspicious and feeling guilty about feeling suspicious about you being nice. Why can't people just be nice and I just accept it? I don't know. But I got, I got fudge. Mm. So good. So good. Right. Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to work our way up. Go down to the very bottom, then work back up through the ship. Um, hello. Back for another lesson. Yeah, sure. Go Tough for it. fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band while on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Hmm. Nice ship you got here. Rumi. Last ship I worked on, two men couldn't walk past each other in the hall unless they were really good friends. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, that amuses me more than it should, frankly. Keeping fit, you know, jogging up and down stairs. Though, uh, neck's kind of sagging back a little bit. Looks like it might fall off if I ran a little bit too quickly. Hey. Hey. Uh, do you want to talk? Tell me something I don't know about you. Oh, okay. Nothing to tell. Why? I'm curious. I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. 
Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. You don't make this easy. But what if I actually care? What if this isn't some act? I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. Immune? <laughs> what do the tattoos mean, then? I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? Mm. I've got a funny feeling that I've been through this conversation before. But you must have friends. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl, Manara, and her boyfriend. Yeah, I've heard this story around. before. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. Okay. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Okay. Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. No, I wanted to know that. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> no thanks is making me laugh. <laughs> it's like, uh, no thanks. I mean, come on, look at me. Look at you. I have standards. No, that, that's harsh. That's harsh, even if it, if it was true, which is not necessarily. But no, I just was just asking, all right? I want to know what makes you tick first. I mean, no worry. Oh my God. You just have to know where to put it. <laughs> okay. Maybe right. we'll talk later. Maybe not. <laughs> you just need to know where to put it. Oh my Lord. <sighs> all right. Well, let's go and see Grunt. Shepard. Hello. I want Just to talk checking about you. in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. Okay. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Hmm. Any other human imprints? What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Solarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Oh, really? Turians. Interesting. You have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, I like that. I actually did like that. <laughs> uh, any guidance from Okir? What did Okir want you to feel about this stuff? Hate. But the pictures, the aliens in them, they don't do anything. I see blood, craters, but so what? My guts were grown from a thousand more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. Yet yeah, you became strong. So you started small. But you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just mm. am. You remind Those me of Miranda. were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan. Ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Okay. I'll take your time, Grunt. I probably got a lot of other missions to do. You know what? Let me go and chat with you two. You might have something new to say, actually. So, Kenneth, did oh. you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? What? Okay. If she touches anything, I'll kill her. 
Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl, stop toying with me. <laughs> Seriously, guys. <laughs> What can we do for you, Commander? Oh, uh, if you got anything to say, you're training, blah, 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 blah. No, it's okay, guys. Here we are. Will do, Commander. Uh, you guys are awesome. I need to visit much more often, but I really wish you'd have something new to say to me, not just around me. They are almost up there with Morden in terms of who I like on this ship. Uh, women's restroom, that is not the place I want to be. Hello, have you got anything more to What's say? What's wrong? They lost contact with New Canton. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Y you'll see. Well, I really hope your family's okay, mate. I wonder if you've got a mission in New Canton direction. I wouldn't mind going and checking out. Ah, oh, let's go and talk with Kazumi. Kazumi, tell me all of the gossip. Hey! Got a minute? Always see you, Kazumi. I really wish I could sit down, though. This Normandy oh, never sitting so down runs. I'm not used to hearing long. my footsteps when I walk. Okay. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. I have to say, that Jacob. <sighs> mm -hmm. He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. I will ask later. for you later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. You haven't had anything new to say for a long time, Kazumi, but I still find myself enamored with the way that you say it, so it's fine. Hello? 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 Weren't Hello? you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. Well, I mean, you wouldn't really have much choice. Hello. Uh, uh, How may I help you, Commander? Uh, no. Okay. No, I'm, I'm just later, checking doctor. at the moment, Doctor. Commander. Uh, I honestly hope that you're incredibly bored. Because if you're not, then it means you've got work to do. And since you're the Doctor, that's a bad thing. I mean, I hope you're not bored, bored. That's why I come down and check on you every now and then. But you know what I mean. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. What you I don't say like, like that? discussing personal matters, but this is important. If it's important to you, then it's important to me. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about Father building a dynasty? There mm -hmm. was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. Okay. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe. Until now, she's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. But not anymore. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep mm. her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Okay. What, what do you know about, about her? your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. What do you mean by relocation? Like, how far? Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Okay, well, I'll, if I can help, I will help in any way I can. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. All right. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Very well. We will do this. Hello. How can I help you, Commander? Do you need anything? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you okay. set up my kitchen with proper supplies, Thanks again. You're welcome. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. We all have to go back to work eventually. Ah. Okay. Shepard, need me for something? I just want to talk. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Okay. Uh, more of the weapons. What can you I tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the collectors. Okay. Well, that's good enough for now. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Now then. <laughs> it's like master nice to watch this one my terrible avorian ship tears apart a 100k iron asteroid sometimes i love doing that as well i just go go uh watch a stream and have my ship on autopilot or, or rather my fleet in autopilot on avorian just doing things it is actually incredibly satisfying all right we'll start the back hello jacob where are you yo commander Sorry, I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Something on your mind? Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. What's up? I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. But you want You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way... I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Okay. The ship and the mission. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Okay. Just catching up on chat for a moment. Uh, thank you very much, Meta, for posting the Discord link again. Ugh, people demanding that someone gets on Skype instead of using Discord. Get with... Oh, my lord. Leave in. Leave in. You've got, you've got to leave the Dark Ages, man. You've got to leave, the, leave that time behind. The time of darkness and, and illiteracy and rampant abuse of power. No. No. Come join us. Join us in 2017. Leave Skype behind. Discord is the future. Uh, well, let's see. Well, that... That's a bit personal, but I'd like to know just so that I'm aware of what might be coming our way. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Okay. And what about the Cerberus connection? Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. Fair enough. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? All right, well, we'll go and have a look. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Fair enough. 
I hope collecting all of these missions is not going to come back and bite me because I'm collecting them all in one go. I sincerely hope that, actually. Right, research terminal first. Uh, ship enhancements, review. Uh, no, okay, fine. Prototypes, review. Uh, counter that advanced training, crook and shotgun, retain powers. Um, I mean, I could get heavy skin weave. I'm kind of tempted. Sure, okay. Um, let's see, plus 10 health. Okay, that's not too bad. Arm upgrades, nothing we can do there. Tax duration, blah, blah, blah. Mercy shielding, no. Weapon upgrades, no. Nothing new for us. Okay. Okay, Mordin. What have you got to sell me? Shepard, how can I help? Um, squad status. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Not a good time. Trying to map contamination vectors requires focus. Shipwide infection of human tailored virus possible if I slip. Oh, Anything okay. else? Fair enough. Nope, that's fine I'll for let now. You work. We'll be here if you need me. Oh, excuse me. Very itchy snarls. Okay, let's go and wander past my crew. See if they're talking about anything. No, okay. I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. Ooh. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? But she's not hey, a prostitute. Watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so. She's. You won't understand unless you meet her. She is very charming. I've met her. Uh, let's go on. Hello, Evie. Hello, Joker. Speak to me, man. Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden. Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? Yeah. We're still friends. Barely. He moved on. I can't blame him. He was frontline with you against a Reaper, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? Did someone switch our files? <laughs> You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. <laughs> Fair enough. How I assume you. everything is going well up here. Quiet enough. I... What the... Trouble? No, it's nothing. I... Son of a... Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop <laughs> it. You did insist on manual uh... control, Mr. Moreau. Oh, that's fantastic. Well done, Edie. Uh, mission. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Thank you very, very much for the resubscription there, Nine. I woke up in time! Praise the dragon! Indeed. Indeed. Uh, let's see... A couple of follows as well. Thank you very much for the uh, to everyone who has recently followed. Uh, let's see, what about what the squad? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone, like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. Right. Mm. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. True. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. Okay, well, fair enough. How about the old crew? What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Alas. And you wish, Leafin. You're a million years too young to make that claim, you, Grasshopper. Commander. Yes, Shepard. Hello. I would like to talk t about you, Edie. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? You and Joker. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. 
Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. That's all for now. I actually love the way he says that. That's why I always ask that question. The airlock is ajar. Thank you very much, Cha. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Meow. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Ah, oh, no. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Caden Alenko was there. How did that go? Uh, yeah, I, I miss him. I, I miss my old crew. I miss almost everyone. I, I mean, I've got Garrus and Dr. Shaq was to remind me, but... I mean, it's not that the new crew were bad, but... Yeah. I wish it could have gone better. We've been through a lot. I wish we could have had more time together. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Um... How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Uh, let's Do check. you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. Just don't... I don't want you falling or being caught or anything. Um, no, it's okay. I better good. go. Okay. You've got nothing new to maybe say. We'll talk later. Uh, maybe we will. Almost Incoming certainly. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Ooh, okay. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take uh, this in my okay. quarters. I only just got down to that floor. Good night, Paradox Master. Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. First time I've ever we seen have you. a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. What? So why call me? Just this morning, I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. Hmm. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. Uh, Rain... Rain... I will try. Rain Makinesu, thank you very much for the subscription. I hope I didn't butcher that name. Too bad. And you're more than welcome, Cha. I'm really pleased that my videos uh, were able to just help entertain you while you were uh, while you were in uh, not the best situations. Uh, let's get a little bit more information. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. Okay. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must they be do. some Which proof. Is probably why he's talking to Kenson's me. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. All right, tell me a little bit more about it, though. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. Fair enough. I Why have a solo mission? squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Jensen is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. All right. You're an old friend, and I'll do it for you, but uh, it sounds like a tall order. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost. 
Coast and Aratan. I'll upload the coordinates now. Thank you. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Right. Hack it out. Take care. Wow. That escalated. Well, I wasn't expecting to have to do that at all. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's head on back down. Dum 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 dum. Go. Okay. Uh, let's check my messages. See what else we've got. Team status upgrade. Select. Uh, we've got all of those done. Unread messages. Select. Ooh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. We've got so many things. Uh, Arc projector from Elusive Man. Shepard, we recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in Skillion Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against the Geth scout scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since the unit is being reassigned for some re rest and relaxation, I thought you could take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called the Arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy. I think I've read that one, yeah. Uh, Shadow Broker Intel. To Shepard, from Cerberus Information Processing. We're aware of your old friend Liara Sony has been hunting for the Shadow Broker for several years. We wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt, given the broker's past work for the collectors. We recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find the Shadow Broker's base of operations. But unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in Cerberus Intel. If you'd visit Ilium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd appreciate it. Ooh. Okay. Um, uh, I'll just mark this as red. The incisor rifle. Red. 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 Can you help? From Robin Reeve. The Alliance soldier here gave me this contact information. I hope this reaches you. You said you were trying to stop those collectors. They took my son and my brother. Have you found them? Do you know where they are? I know you're looking, but so many people are just gone. Every family lost someone. The children are the worst. Empty desks at schools. Winter clothes that never got worn. Please, the Alliance isn't doing anything. The Council isn't doing anything. If you can find our people, I'm begging you to do something. Tell me something I can do. Tell me anything. Hmm. Is there no way of responding to that? Okay. From Elusive Man. Shepard, I see you awakened Okir's Krogan. A dangerous decision, but you've got free reign on this operation. If you're certain he'll be useful, member of the team, you've got my support. We need every weapon we can get in this battle. If this grunt proves unreliable and has to be put down, don't lose the body. He's based at least partially on collected technology and could offer useful genetic data. But again, you're in charge. All right. Ooh, I'm quite tempted to go and speak with Liara, actually, but that would be back to the Citadel. And it, well, I mean, I guess we could go back to the Citadel, considering we did just do a bunch of stuff, like an actual mission. Let's see my journal. Oh my God. So many. So many. Ooh. No, really? Talizora Vasnima. Expert in combat tech, systems hacking, strong engineering background, familiar with Normandy. Formerly listed as Tali Zora, uh, as Tali Zora uh, Naraya, the Quarian engineer earned her adult name after helping Shepard defeat Saren two years ago. Tali is currently on classified assignment for the Migrant Fleet Admiralty Board on Haystrom, deep in Geth controlled space. With a just a car? Just a car, Samara. Biotic strength and near that of an Asari matriarch. Extensive weapons training. Samara is a just a car, a rare member of the Asari monastic group trained in enhanced combat biotics alongside standard weapons. Samara was recently sighted on Ilium, outside normal Asari space. Okay. And the assassin. Thane Krios. Quick kill biotic specialist. Expert sniper. Thane Krios is a... Drell trained from childhood as an elite assassin, proficient in both long-range sniping kills and close infiltration. He has slowed his activities in recent years, but rumoured to have a target 
on Ilium. Oh, there's so many things to do on Ilium. Uh, layer of the Shadow Broker. Cerberus has delivered information on purchases the Shadow Broker has made recently. May provide the information Liar at Sony needs to track down the Shadow Broker's location. Okay. Miranda, uh, the prodigal. Miranda's estranged father is trying to take back his sister, Oriana. Miranda needs to go to Ilium and get her sister off world safely. Jacob, Jacob, the gift of greatness. Ten years ago, Jacob's father disappeared, along with Hugo Gurn's back, the privately held frigate on which he served as first officer. Last week, the ship's beacon sent out a distress call reporting a crash on a planet era. Jacob would like to investigate. And stop the collectors. Cerberus has determined that an alien race called the collectors is attacking human colonies. They are assembled, blah, 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 blah. Assemble team. We're still doing that. Okay. Um, gift of greatness. Travel over there. I wouldn't mind getting a few more uh, um, loyalty missions. And that certainly seems like one. Miranda and Jacob loyalty missions would be cool. <laughs> uh, Tally. I was just saying how much I miss my old crew. Uh, arrival, Admiral Hackett asked Shepard to infiltrate a Bortarian outpost. Mm -hmm. I think we are going to go to Tally. Uh, okay. Very well. We're also going to save. Right. Let's go and find Tally. Now that Cerberus actually wants us to find her. Out we go. Have I checked out all of these moons? These plans, rather? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, scanning time. Because I need more stuffs. Venture, a pressure cooker of a planet. Venture's thick nitrogen-based atmosphere is also the source of wealth for a small colonist industry. While Venture's high temperatures are brutal, the primordial soup is not as acidic as on other hothouse planets, and xenon can be readily collected and isolated from the lower atmosphere by recovery bots. This xenon is then sold for use in ion drives and some electric lights. Venture's gravity is relatively low for a planet of this size, making the recovery more economical than would otherwise be expected. Also, for the next, like maybe for the rest of this stream, maybe for future streams, I'm gonna stop reading out all of the planet stuff. I actually really like it, so I'll leave her on screen for a few seconds. But I know, I, my tongue was already starting to catch on stuff while I was just chatting there, so. I'm going to reduce the uh, non-essential reading. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Sure. Launching probe. Today I did not want to be excluding meta. I just... Oh, it's just you. There. Yeah, we've scanned everything, so. Boom. Alright, mass relay time. Womp. Oh my lord. Um. I mean, I guess we could go to Ilium. Mm. No, we're going to go and see Tally. <laughs> 